A few hours ago, a major NPM supply chain breach unfolded right under our eyes. Here's what happened. A developer fell victim to a phishing email. That gave attackers control over his account and let them slip malicious code into widely trusted packages. If you're dealing with crypto or just even using NPM, this might affect you too. In this video, we'll look at what the attacker did, how much damage it caused, how you can protect yourself, and what this means going forward. Earlier today, well-known NPM maintainer Josh Junon, also known as Kix, was targeted by a phishing attack that reset the two-factor authentication on his account. The attackers then pushed malicious updates to at least 18 packages, including Chalk, Debug, Strip ANSI, ANSI Styles, and others. Together, these packages see over 2 billion downloads every week. Some reports put the number closer to 2.6 billion. The malware injected into them was a crypto clipper. It intercepts Web3 or crypto transactions in the browser and silently swaps wallet addresses, redirecting funds to attacker-controlled accounts without triggering obvious alarms. Fortunately, the attack was spotted quickly by a Belgian security company called Aikido. Early reports show that the actual stolen funds were minimal, less than $50 in total. This might sound small, but the implications are massive. These packages sit at the foundation of tools like Babel or ESLint and other countless projects. Even if only a handful of users were directly hit, this incident highlights how fragile and far-reaching supply chain trust can be. The damage was limited thanks to a fast response. Many compromised versions were pulled within an hour. But still, some cached lock files or indirect dependencies could keep the malware around, so be extra cautious. Here's what you can do to protect yourself and your projects. Audit your packages. Run NPM audit, check your lock files, and update or remove any compromised versions. Clean your local caches. Run npm cache clean with the force flag and reinstall dependencies to pull clean packages. And if you're doing crypto, use hardware wallets or verify addresses carefully. Ledger's CTO has urged caution with on-chain transactions. If you use a hardware wallet, double check every destination address before approving. And finally, adopt supply chain defenses. Use tools that detect malicious package changes, monitor registry updates, and flag suspicious code. This attack is a clear reminder that open source ecosystems carry real risks, even from trusted contributors. One phishing email was enough to unleash code that could have reached billions of downloads. While the financial loss was small this time, the potential damage could have been enormous. So keep your projects secure by staying proactive and auditing them regularly. So fellow developers, stay safe, stay vigilant, and share this with your teams to raise awareness. And if you want more developer content like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. This has been Andres from BetterStack, and I will see you in the next videos.